Johnny 10 Sports Network. Now, here's John Gabrielson. Welcome to Casper Natrona High School. It is the opening round of the State 4A Boys Basketball Championship. I'm John Gabrielson alongside Wyatt Baritska as we give Thomas Dent the third and Jason Peterson the weekend off as it's an all-audio affair from State Basketball thanks to the agreement with the NFHS Network. And it's going to be nothing but audio. We will have some visuals like the one you see. We'll have a clock. We'll have the running clock and everything else. Wyatt will take care of that. But this is the Porter's pregame show. It is brought to you by Porter's Mountain View Supply as we hope to God that this weather will finally go away one day. But in the meantime, they remind you to keep your wood, gas, or pellet stove in optimum condition for the cold season. Everything you need from new installs to supplies and accessories online at portersmvs.com. It is the Laramie Plainsman, the uh, three seed out of the east side, taking on the number two seed from the west. That is the Riverton Wolverines. And looking at records of these two teams, Riverton checking in at 19-5 and five overall. And then you look at the Plainsmen. They evened out their record going 13-3 and three last week. And we'll take a more in-depth look at those shooting uh, stats and other stats here in just a few minutes. But it is Laramie who went 3-1 and one last week on this very floor, taking on the Wolverines who went 2-1 and one in Star Valley, getting the number two seed. Both of the uh, East teams won earlier today. Cheyenne East defeated Jackson, and then it was Campbell County defeating the Star Valley Braves. So it's 0-2 East uh, West against the East. We'll see how they fare tonight against the Laramie Plainsman. We have an interview with our head coach, Bo Sheets. That's next. We'll take a quick timeout. Be back with the coach right after this break. This is Wolverine Basketball from 105.1 Jack FM. Gales Carpet Floor and Home is happy to support student athletes in sports across Fremont County. Gales Carpet One Floor and Home has been a Fremont County fixture for decades, specializing in flooring, window coverings, and cabinets, as well as the professional certified installation of those products. Stop into Gales Floor and Home today at 220 East Main Street, Riverton, or see them online at galescarpet1riverton.com. High Country Hearing Center supports patient hearing health care with a superior standard of practice for our Wyoming families. And we are proud to sponsor sports and student athletes all across Fremont County. High Country Hearing Centers has been serving Wyoming's hearing health care needs since 1979. High Country Hearing Centers will always provide superior hearing instrument technology and standard of care practices to help you stay connected with family and help you maintain a more active and healthier Wyoming lifestyle. Make an appointment today in Lander at 1460 West Main or in Rock Springs at 514 Broadway. Steel Vincent, he's got Paxton, wraparound pass, Parker, left hand, double clutch and one. Here's the interview with head coach Bo Sheets. Well, you've seen a couple go down today, and unfortunately the, the East domination continues, but I hope that you know the kids don't take that to mean that it's a harbinger for what they're doing here as well. But they have got a chance to come see the atmosphere, come see what it's like today with a couple of games. Yeah, you bet. Uh, you know, the madness uh, at any level is always fun. And it's always fun to kind of root for the underdogs. And, and whether it's the East or West, it's just fun to see games because every year is different. You know, we, we've talked about the, the nba size lineups that some of the teams have had. <laughs> and then, you know, some of the just fun and gun teams uh, from the last couple of years. So, you know, I, I, I wouldn't put too much stock into that. You know, there's one game you know, on a Thursday that you either win or lose. And, um, you know, it's just kind of about who's playing well. How did the kids come back from, you know, a, a runner-up finish last week at Star Valley? You know, to me, the, it, it's always tough to read, uh, you know, teenagers and what, what they're thinking at all times, but um, motivated. I'm glad is, I'm not the only one. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and, and, and that's probably the word I'd say is motivated. They seem like, a, you know, they, they had a good head on their shoulders about it. Like, it would have been fun to win it. Um, but our ultimate goal is kind of stuff this week. And so, you know, there's, 
kind of serve as a lesson that uh, we can't have a, a quarter where we score four points and uh, give up offensive boards. So those are some good, good kind of keys for us this weekend. Good thing, bad thing, playing a team that you're familiar with. You won by 25, obviously. It was three months ago, almost to the day of things like that. Or, you know, what it could have, should have. But good thing, bad thing to play Laramie again? I, th- I think it depends on how you look at it. I mean, it's a good thing because we know we can beat them and uh, beat them soundly. Uh, that's the good part. The, the bad part is that was kind of like two seasons ago. You know, you have your, your preseason season where you play the teams before conference, and then you kind of have your conference season. And then you get into postseason. So we, we really didn't know that much about them going in other than they had a good big kid and really good guards. And, uh, you know, they've improved. They're, they're still pretty young. But, but that experience for a sophomore, all of a sudden those kids aren't sophomores anymore. They're, they're more like juniors or closer to seniors after having a full year under their belt. With that said, expectations, X's, O's, what you hope to do. Uh, you know, I got a little of the inside scoop at home, right. but I'll let you talk about X's and O's and game plan. Right. They're, they're much like, uh, you know, when you compare them to teams we play a lot, kind of like Green River, uh, Kelly Walsh with really good skilled guards. And then they've got a big man in the middle that, uh, you know, sophomore kid, really big, um, stout kid. Doesn't look like he's, you know, that fast. Um, but he's super skilled. You know, he's lefty. He can shoot. He can dribble. Uh, he can go both ways. Got a great um, just skill set for a postman. And so it, it, he's that one kid that, you know, until you played him, it's kind of surprising and uh, kind of inside out. Um, you know, he can shoot deep. He can take you inside. And then their guards, they've got a couple guards that are, uh, you know, kind of uh, – you know, they're going to shoot threes, and they're going to shoot them well, and they've got a couple other guys who going to drive well. So a uh, good team we're playing, um, but, but again, we match up with them pretty well. Um, we don't have to worry about their size as much except for that one position. They got to play four games in this gym just a week ago, and I right. don't know if that adds to the familiarity as your kids got to play on this once last year. Right. But it is what it is. Yeah, I mean, that, that's one of those that you kind of feel like they, they have an advantage because they've been in here. But but honestly, um, you put a defense out there, so it's not like they're just shooting in an empty gym. And, um, you know, you play the games you play, and everybody just got to kind of show up and do the best with what they got. Sometimes teams host a, a regional or a state tournament, and you just got to do, you know, the best with what you got. Well, the two host teams didn't make it to state <laughs> out <laughs> right. of that region right. last week, right. too. So something to be said for that. And the experience, I think, that your team has been here for a few – few years in a row they haven't been in these kids' high school career so hopefully that familiarity uh, goes on there anything about the you know sick bay illness uh, injuries that kind of thing no we're we're doing good we're pretty healthy um, which is good because we kind of went through some some of that flu bug sickness stuff and I think the boys are are healthy again and uh, just ready excited to to enjoy the madness of March anything else no I think that's it I mean these first ones are always the tough ones you know Thursdays or exciting because it starts it kicks off the tournament and uh you know, there's always upsets and uh teams you know playing well the team's struggling and so that's that's my goal for our boys is just enjoy it uh don't get too excited you know kind of about what happens early because it's a long game and, uh, just kind of do our thing that that was our focus for us this week was uh focus on what we do what we do well what we need to kind of um you know areas of strength and areas of weakness that we need to avoid so that's that's kind of our kind of reminder to myself is it's kind of let's let's focus on what we do and what we do well and then let the rest of it take care of itself best of luck we'll talk to you when it's over all right thanks I appreciate this has it. been the porter's pregame show from the county 10 sports network on jack fm back to the game right after this lander medical clinic and western family care support fremont county athletics we are a locally owned, multi-specialty healthcare group that is proud to serve the Lander and Riverton communities. Our goal is to provide convenient quality care for all ages. We offer a wide array of services, including family and internal medicine, pediatrics, women's care, and urgent care. Additionally, we have on-site labs, echocardiograms, stress tests, x-ray, and ultrasound in both communities. Lander Medical Clinic and Western Family Care are here for you in Fremont County. Let's stay healthy together. Fremont Therapy Group has been a proud supporter of Wyoming athletics for more than 25 years, providing highly trained clinicians to treat athletes and their families. Our locally owned clinics offer a wide range of specialties like aquatic, vestibular, and pediatric therapy. On staff, we have specialists certified in dry needling, sports and orthopedic therapy, and a certified hand therapist now seeing patients both in Riverton and Lander. Our women's health specialists can help with everything from incontinence to pre- and postpartum care. Our six locations in western Wyoming are all built for physical and aquatic therapy. 
find out more or to schedule an appointment, go to FremontTherapyGroup.com. The RHS band in the house with the RHS school song playing as we get you ready for the boys' first round of the state 4A boys basketball tournament. Welcome back. I'm John Gabrielson. Wyatt Baritska with me as we get set for basketball. Let's take a look at the stat breakdown on this. The Plainsman 13 and 13 overall. Riverton is 19 and 5. Riverton won the first meeting by 25, almost three months to the day ago. You look at the points, very even at 60 and 59. Riverton a better three-point shooting team. Riverton a better field uh, free throw shooting team. Rebounding edge uh, a bit to the Plainsman in there. I don't, I'm not sure. Well, Riverton actually with a bit of a rebounding edge, but as of late, they have been uh, getting a great effort out of Neil Summers, and then the turnovers. Riverton going to have to put those at a premium again today as they're averaging around 10 per game. They had a great game against Springs and just couldn't get some shots to fall as you looked at the uh, Star Valley Braves last week. Wyatt, I don't know if I, I'm going to go out of order with you to take a look at the bracket as to what we've seen here already going on. And uh, what we've got going on on the bracket is the East teams in the semifinals. Cheyenne East versus Campbell County. Cheyenne East defeated Jackson earlier today. Final score on that was 49-39. to And then it was Campbell County beating Star Valley 58-55. to Campbell County hit 10 three-pointers in the first half and propelled them to the victory over the Star Valley Braves. East and Campbell County in a semifinal at 7.30 tomorrow. Jackson and Star Valley in an elimination game at noon. Later tonight, after this game, it'll be Thunder Basin and Cody playing the 9 o'clock matchup. Here you are with Riverton and Laramie at the 7.30 game. A win tomorrow puts him in the semifinals at 9 o'clock, and a loss will put him in a loser-out game in the consolation bracket at 1.30. Both games will be at the Ford Wyoming Center. You know it as the Casper Event Center. So, again, that is where basketball lies as of right now. Four games have been completed on the girls' side of the equation. Semifinals, it is all uh, east except for Cody. Sheridan and Thunder Basin will meet in the semis on one side. East and uh, Cody will meet in the semifinals. It's the first time in three years they haven't met in the finals, East and Cody. But they'll meet in the semifinals tomorrow at 6. Green River Kelly Walsh will play at 9 a.m. Star Valley will take on Campbell County at 10.30 tomorrow morning. That is what the girls' bracket looks like. Let's take a look at starters first for the home team. We'll do that for the Wolverines as they're dressed in their home whites and you see them pop up on the screen with their beautiful little smiles and everything else thanks to Wyatt Baritschka for the graphics. Number zero is a six foot senior averaging uh, eight points, four rebounds per ball game. He had ten points and four rebounds against Laramie last time. That is the senior Jason Vincent. Wearing number one, a 6'2 junior at 14 points and six rebounds a game. He had 21 points and 10 rebounds. One of his two double-doubles on the season. The last time against the Plainsman, that is Derek DeVries. Number five, a six-foot senior. Had a big semifinal last week against Rock Springs. Averaging five points, three boards per ball game is Cade Gabrielson. State's leading scorer is at 5'9". He's a junior, averaging just a skosh over 18 points a game. He had 14 points, four rebounds against Laramie last time. And he is a 5'9 junior. That is Parker Paxton. And wearing number 14, a six-foot senior, averaging six points, four rebounds per ball game, is Nathan Hutchison. Nathan ran into a bit of foul trouble in the last two games for the Wolverines, but he's going to be integral tonight defending the much taller Neil Summers for the LHS Plainsman. On the other side, they will start like this. Number two is a 5'10 junior averaging eight points a game. That is Karsten Bush. They have a senior, Levi Brown, who barely leaves the game if he does. He is a six-foot senior, averages 10 points per ball game. That is Levi Brown. Max Alexander, the sophomore, averages 11 points per ball game. He is six foot and a sophomore. Previous meeting, he scored 13 as he came off the bench to do that. Brandon Chavez wears number 15. He is a 6'2 senior, averages four rebounds per ball game. And number 55, he is a 6'7 senior, 
And word on the street is he's lost somewhere around 40 pounds from the beginning of the season till now at six foot seven. They have him listed on the roster at 245. If he's lost 40 pounds, he's closer down to 210 right now. But he is a big kid. And Neil Summers, the all-conference selection, is number 55. So it'll be Bush, Brown, Alexander, Chavez, and Summers taking on Vincent DeVries, Gabrielson, Paxton, and Hutchison, who are being introduced to the crowd at Natrona County High School right now. Bo Sheets in his sixth season as the head coach, assisted by Dick Quayle and Pat Patterson, volunteer assistants Kurt Paxton and Alec Richardson. Drew Evans is in his first year as the head coach of the Laramie Plainsman. As assistant coach, you know him well from Fremont County, longtime Dubois administrator and head coach Ernie Mecca, who also coached at Thermopolis. Ernie Mecca back on the sidelines for Drew Evans as DeVries at six foot one, going to step in against Neil Summers. And this basketball game getting set. Wolverines in the home. Whites, Cardinal numbers, black trim, Riverton across the front. They will go right to left. Laramie in maroon road uniforms. They will get the tap. They go left to right. They have maroon with white numerals and gold lettering. They'll pick him up man to man, left to right, Plainsman. With the basketball, Bush gives it up top to Brown. Underneath, Summers wide open. Quick, easy two points for the Plainsmen on their first offensive possession. Paxton's going to run down the lane. He'll fire it up, puts it up short, no good, and a rebound by Brown. And again, it's conference, it's, it's tournament basketball. It's going to be physical as there was some contact on that play for Parker. Gabrielson Ding up on Levi Brown. He'll get it back to the right side. Summers asking for it front and back, scoots it over in the corner. Back up left wing, triple is good, and the Plainsman out to a quick 5-0 lead on the basket by Max Alexander. Wolverine shot very early in the shot clock, if you will, on their last possession. Settle in, run some offense. Paxton gets in a double team. DeVries ends up with it. Sprints down the lane, puts it up with the right hand on the left side. It comes up short, and Brown will get his second rebound of the basketball game. Brown, deed up by Gabrielson. Flips it left side, another triple on the way. That one misses, and Gabrielson will go get the rebound. Up ahead to Hutch, he'll take it the distance. He'll miss the lay-in, and Brown with another rebound. Boy, Wolverine's 0 for 3 to start. That was point blank by Hutch, and he missed the lay-in. Summers scoots it over and throws it away. Was it partially touched? Referee making sure that they tuck in jerseys. That'll be turnover number one on the Plainsman. Plainsman out to a two for three effort. How can Sheets will pull their shooting shirts and be ready to check in on the next dead ball? Parker baseline blocked partially again. Another Wolverine miss. And Brown with another rebound is fourth. Wolverines 0 for 4 to start the game. Gabrielson got a piece of that, but Summers climbs the ladder. Back door underneath. Scooted baseline Alexander. That three misses. Paxton with the first rebound of the game. Gabrielson left side triple gets the Wolverines on the board. Much needed basket for RHS as Gabrielson hits the triple from the left side corner. 540 left to play first quarter. On that Fremont Therapy scoreboard, 5-3. Bush runs it in. Actually, it's Brown. He'll run it all the way to the baseline and be fouled by Hutchison. And Well, those were not fouls on the other end. And it's going to be on Paxton instead of Hutch. And maybe that's why, because they saw the reach before they got to Paxton. It's going to send Levi Brown to the line. Laramie, 58% free throw shooters. Brown gets the first. He is a 60% shooter, is Levi. Four rebounds in a point now. Hutch and Gabrielson come out. Sheets and Hauk come in for RHS. Five and a half left to play here in quarter number one. Brown will get the second one. And a 7-3 Laramie advantage. DeVries runs it into the front court, finds Vincent. Working in on Brown, goes to Sheets. Ty stops with it at the 15-foot line, crosses back to DeVries. Good defense by Bush. 
on Paxton, the state's leading scorer. DeVries going to run down in the trees, runs past his man, puts it up. That one's no good, and Summers the rebound. Boy, the Wolverines cannot hit down low. And that's twice they've had bunnies, and they've missed him. Monroe will pull the shirt. He'll come in next dead ball for the Wolverines. Chavez guarded by Vincent. Scoots it left side. Brown sheets on him defensively. Brown might have traveled through the lane. Somehow puts it off glass and scores. Nine-three Plainsman out in front. Parker rises 12 floating. Missed it. Gets his own rebound. Double clutch. Missed it. Puts it right back up. That one will drop. Good tenacity by Parker Paxton. Not being denied. He scores. It's 9-5 Plainsman. 4-15 left in the first quarter. Brown stops at the 15-foot line. Left side Bush for three. That's good. Where they're getting open looks are the Plainsmen, and they're knocking them down. Four out of six. DeVries will go to the distance, put it up, missed it, but he's fouled, and that will go against Levi Brown. Will be his first personal foul. Dre Monroe going to check into the ball game. DeVries will go to the line to shoot a pair. Wolverines 68% free throw shooters. They average 12 of 18 a game. And DeVries will get the first one. Gabrielson and Monroe into the ball game. Vincent and Hauk will come out. Paxton out as well. Who else came in? Hutch came back in. So Sheets and DeVries will stay. Monroe, Hutch, and Gabrielson back in. DeVries second is good as well. 12-7. Under four to play first quarter on the Fremont Therapy scoreboard. Chavez with it. Appreciate you listening in. Five count is on. He'll finally get rid of it. Alexander. They have not subbed as of yet. Have the Plainsman. Alexander, another long three. Missed it. Rebound to the ground. Gabriel sent away with it. Second board of the night. Cade. Hutch will line up a triple, not going to go. Gabrielson goes to the floor, and it's loose. And a foul on the Wolverines as Alexander came out of the pack. Not sure how Gabrielson got bodied, uh, bottled, bodied to the floor on that, but they're going to give the ball to Laramie. Braden McKinney will check into the ball game, as will Jaden Smith. McKinney is 6'1 sophomore, Jaden Smith a 5'11 sophomore. Summers stays. Smith with it, backcourt, walks it across the timeline. 3.15 left first quarter, 12-7, Plainsman. Summers guns it into the corner to Chavez. His three hits the side of the backboard, and it's rebounded by Dre Monroe. Parker, after a quick breather, going to check back in. Derek gets free for three, misses. Gabrielson gets taken down again. But the Wolverines will get the rebound. Right side, Hutch, his three misses. Dre the rebound. That's no good. Wow, they cannot find the basket point blank right now are the Wolverines. Two of 13 shooting here in the first quarter. DeVries knocks it away from Smith, who puts it on the floor down to Summers. Spins with the left hand. He'll knock down Monroe. They're going to give the foul to Monroe. And that'll pin Summers to the line. Summers a lefty. They want to try to make him go right-handed. Summers just a 43% free throw shooter. Misses the first. Eli Lucas, Jason Vincent, Parker Paxton into the ball game. 12-7, 232 left. Bad news is Riverton has shot 15% from the field. Good news is they're only down two possessions right now. Get some of those easier, closer shots to fall. It's a much different game. Summers gets one of two, actually raising his average. 13-7. Vincent across the stripe. Finds Paxton with it. Parker with two points. Back to Jason. He'll go baseline, shut off there, out to Parker. Parker gets knocked to the floor. Bush will get his first personal. I think the result of the play ends up getting the foul. Had he stayed on his feet, they probably would have let it go, but because he fell down, they do call a foul on it. Two and change left. 
Wolverines need to get in motion. Too much standing around. Parker's going to get a timeout called by Coach Sheets. Boy, there was a lot of stagnant Wolverines hanging around. Stop in play. Thanks to Bailey Tire and Auto for sponsoring this broadcast. Bailey Tire and Auto in Riverton and Lander has a huge selection of every kind of tire you can think of. Check them out and stick around for the Bailey Tire and Auto postgame show at the conclusion of the game. Your scoreboard is brought to you by Fremont Therapy of Riverton and Lander. For more than 25 years, Fremont Therapy has been Fremont County's leader in physical and occupational therapy. They are proud to provide experienced clinicians to support our athletes and families. Wishing all Fremont County teams the best of luck this season. We'll hope the voice holds out for the duration of the broadcast. It has been a sketchy week. Gabrielson pump fakes a long three. McKinney in his face. And then Lucas just has it pilfered by Carson Bush as he ran by. First turnover of the game by the Wolverines. Brown scoots it out right side to Jaden Smith. Brown down low to Summers. He will miss the shot, get his own rebound, step in and score and one. Kid is a force in there at six foot seven. And it's going to be on Levi, uh, excuse me, Eli Lucas who gets the foul. And it's going to put Summers to the line for the and one. He already has five and a 15 7 lead. Summers free throw is good. He's two for three. Token full court pressure by the Plainsman. 140 left. First quarter of basketball. Wolverines trailing by nine. Biggest lead of the basketball game for the Plainsman as of right now. Paxton gets free from his man. Launches a triple. That is good. Parker Paxton. Boy, give him a small window. Gabrielson's going to pick up. Brown like to pressure him full court, make him play full court the entire game as he doesn't barely come out of the contest. He's going to run past his man. Gabrielson spins, finds Summers. Summers spins. He'll miss the shot. Good defense by Hutchison. Plainsman 5 of 10, and Hutchison down the lane is going to be fouled, and it's going to be on Summers. And that'll be his first personal on the post position from Laramie. Sheets and DeVries in. Lucas and Gabrielson out. One on each corner of the paint for the Wolverines with less than a minute left to play in the first. Ty takes the inbound. Goes back up top to DeVries. And find his window. Takes it down. Loses it. Spins. Puts it up. That'll drop. For Derek DeVries. Wolverines on a mini run now after going down nine. They're back within four. A quick 5-0 run on the triple by Paxton and the put in by DeVries. 35 seconds left. Baseline three. Air mail. And a rebound on the opposite side by Ty Sheets. Ty quickly up ahead to Jason. He will let everything set up. Coming in. Blowing up the pick is Brown. DeVries stopped. Hang for 10. That'll be good. 7-0 run by the Wolverines after being down 9. And it's a two-point contest. 10 seconds left. Get it out to Smith. 7 seconds left. DeVries on him defensively. He'll lose the basketball. Out at midcourt. McKinney shot at the buzzer is no good. And the Wolverines come off the deck. Shoot 31% but are within a bucket of the pointsman as we head to the second period from State. First round, it's Laramie 16, it's Riverton 14. We'll be back in a minute on 105.1 Jack FM. Lander's One Stop of Lander wishes the best of luck to all student athletes and sports teams throughout Fremont County. Xander's One Stop has it all. Clean gas, ethanol-free fuel, diesel, a variety of household and automotive needs. Stop in for the very best in snacks, lunch, dinner, and much more. Plus, the best liquor selection. And now lottery tickets for the Cowboy Draw, Mega Millions, Powerball, and Lucky for Life. It's all here at Xander's One Stop 730 East Main Lander. 
Tyler Watson State Farm in Riverton is a proud supporter of Wolverine Athletics. We want to ensure you are in good hands with the variety of policies we offer, including auto, home, life, and financial services. Keep it local with State Farm today by stopping into 618 East Washington Avenue or calling 856-4118 to discuss insuring all of your needs. Or you can visit insuringriverton.com. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Second quarter basketball, Wolverines with it. Five of 16 shooting. Parker runs past everyone. Turn around, eight. Missed it. Kind of forced a little bit there. Summers with another rebound. His fifth, he's averaging a double-double is the big guy. 13 points, 11 rebounds. He already has six points, five rebounds after one quarter of play. He's going to try a triple in the left corner. Misses DeVries with a rebound. Derek has it batted away, but... Picked up by Vincent, saving the possession. Jason runs down and is rejected by Summers and taken away by Neal. Well, you run down there, 6-7. Sequoia waiting for you down there, just blocks it on him. Alexander has it. Outside to Bush, man-to-man -man defense. Alexander, triple at the top. That one misses, and DeVries will end up with a rebound. Wolverine's chance had their first tie or a lead. DeVries to the baseline. Spins down and puts it off glass and Dan. Oh, I wish we were video and could show you the replay. A nice little circus move by DeVries as he spins and puts it off glass. And we are tied for the first time since zeros. Chavez bounce it into the hands of Jaden Smith. Back out to Chavez in the corner now to Alexander. Again, Wolverines have stayed in the defensive man-to-man. -man. Summers back up top. Smith drives. He will fly off glass and miss, but he's fouled in doing so. Riverton foul will be there. They go on DeVries. They don't put the fouls up here. Proud to host the best, but can't afford to put the fouls on the board. First on Derek, I do believe, as Jaden Smith goes to the line. Free throw is good. Plainsman average 8 of 14 from the uh, free throw line. Mason Branch is 6'5". He will check in for Summers, who will get his first breather. Good work by the sophomore. He's going to be a load in the next couple of years for the Laramie Plainsman against the rest of the East Conference in the 4A state. Six points, six rebounds for Summers at 6'7", and he checks out. Second free throw by Smith is good, and he will exit stage left as Levi Brown will return. 18-16, Laramie out in front. 6.25 remaining in the first half. Fremont Therapy scoreboard. Brody Dale has checked into the contest for RHS. Brody takes it right side to Sheets. Four juniors and a senior on the floor right now. Ty pump fakes baseline, rises for 10. Misses it. Vincent will go back up. Maybe and one. Nothing called. And finally out of the pack with it come the Plainsmen. Wow. It's tournament physicality on one end and kind of ticky-tack a little bit on the other end right now. Brown gives it up to Bush. As Jason got taken clear down to the floor, they'll cross court the pass to Branch. He'll give it back. 540 left first half. Branch baseline, Monroe on him. They'll reset the offense. Alexander underneath. Chavez back up top. Good defense by the Wolverines. Spinning Bush lights it up from six and gets it to fall. Back to a four-point Plainsman lead, 20-16. to 16. Three starters rise and will check back into the ballgame next dead ball. Paxton and Vincent already out there. Parker, long, triple, in and out, stays out. And the rebound comes to Levi Brown. He has four rebounds in the contest with his four points. Brown spins down on Sheets into the paint, throws him off, puts it off glass, and misses it. Vincent muscling away a rebound in a whole lot of arms and bumping in traffic. 
Brody left side right through the hands of Ty Sheets and turned over. That is just the second turnover of the game on the Wolverines and only one turnover on the Plainsmen right now. They've played some clean basketball. Riverton has been whistled for five fouls while the Plainsmen have been whistled for three. Vincent will come out, so Monroe stays out there with Paxton, Hutchison, DeVries, and Gabrielson. Bush walks it across the timeline. 4.40 left to play here in the second quarter. Summers has gotten back into the ball game for Laramie. Bush lost it. Second turnover of the game. Gabrielson looking, takes it all the way. That's rejected and taken away. Nothing called. Left side triple, Plainsman missed it. Summers ends up with it. Fires it up and that's no good. Hutchison will take it away. That time they let him go wild on that end and the Wolverines get the rebound. Coach Sheets looking for a lineup that's going to click right now with four minutes left to play. Parker 16, let it fly. Missed it. And another rebound by Brown. Wolverines 6 of 24 from the field and getting free is Chavez on the baseline. He'll lay it off glass and in. Back to a 6 point Plainsman lead after the Wolverines clawed back from a 9-0 deficit. Hutchison bodying in on DeVries, on uh, Chavez rather. His shot doesn't go and a rebound by Chavez. Shot chart shows a lot of Wolverine shots in close, but not a lot of green buckets with it. There's a lot of red in there. As they have not shot well in this ballgame at all. Outside, Bush wide open triple, and he'll knock it down. And they'll let Summers tie his shoe. And it's back to a nine-point Plainsman lead once again. They led by... Nine at 16-7. Riverton tied it up on a 9-0 run to make it 16s. And then a 9-0 run by Laramie puts them back up by 9. 3-10 left to play. We're in the first half of the boys for a state first round. DeVries from 15 buries it. He is the first to double figures in the ball game. Again, last time they played, he had 21 with 10 rebounds. Bush. Deed up now, left side outside to get it to McKinney. Back to Bush, now to McKinney. Left side on the wing, DeVries on him. Smith has it now at the top of the key. Chavez, corner. Summers runs past his man. Outside three, good by Braden McKinney. Great ball movement by the Plainsman. Long pass up ahead, Hauk. He's going to challenge the big fella, and he'll get the offensive foul. Wow. Wow. Turnover number three on the Wolverines. Hunter Hauk will get the foul. It's like almost it, every break is going the Plainsman way early in this one right now. He's going to check out. Sheets will check in for him. It's a 10-point Plainsman advantage with 2.22 left. Much different game than the 25-point Wolverine win at RHS three months ago, almost to the day. Plainsman playing catch. McKinney back out to Summers. Pump fake. Goes corner. Another three. Bush is good. They're lighting it up. The Plainsman have hit five three-pointers in the first half, and they have a 13-point advantage. Wolverines just need to run their system. You can't get 13 points all at once. Just run the system, get a good-looking shot, see what happens. Parker floats in off glass. That's good from the left side. Seven points for Paxton. First points in a while for the Wolverines. Laramie has outscored him 15-6 here with 90 seconds left to play in the first half. Into the paint, Summers gets free, lay it up and in. Summers has eight. Coach Sheets bending the ear of the official as... Ty Sheets goes into the paint, throws one up off the front of the iron, not close. And a rebound by Levi Brown. Brown 
Fakes, runs past his man, throws it up. This is almost unbelievable right now. The Plainsman scoring at will on the Wolverines. This is not looking like a Wolverine team we have seen a lot this season. Parker in the corner. That triple misses. Vincent gets the rebound back out top to Hutchison. Nathan back up top. Parker. 40 seconds left. Jason gets a three on the way. That one misses. Sheets the rebound. He'll fire from six. Not close at all. And another rebound by Summers. Boy, even getting three opportunities that time down the floor. The Wolverines can't get a basket to drop. Down by 15. Laramie wants the last shot of the first half. Summers going to hand it back out to Brown. Plainsmen have taken it to the Wolverines here in the first 16 minutes of basketball. And foul on Sheets will send Bush to the line. Actually, Brown to the line. Gabrielson, Brown, DeVries with eight seconds left coming in. Hutchison and Alk will come out. Mason Brown to the free throw line. It's Levi Brown, excuse me, Mason Branch. 60% from the line. Misses badly. Rebound by Vincent. He'll take it all the way. Scoop with the left hand, no good. And a rebound by Braden McKinney in the first half. Mercifully comes to an end for the Wolverines as they get outscored by the Plainsmen. 35 to 20, a 19 to six second quarter blistering the Wolverines right now at the intermission. We'll come back, take a look at some first half stats after this timeout. It is Laramie 35, it is Riverton 20. Second half on the way right after this timeout. This is Wolverine basketball from 105.1 Jack FM. Myers Gambles in Lander is a proud supporter of sports and student athletes all around Fremont County. Gambles has a huge selection of American-made brands for every room in your home. Tempur-Pedic, Stearns & Foster, Lazy Boy, England, KitchenAid, Whirlpool, Maytag, and more. The crew at Gambles in Lander is ready to help and find exactly what you're looking for. The delivery is always free within 30 miles of the store, which includes Riverton. Turn around, shop in town at Myers Gambles in downtown Lander. At Central Wyoming College, your future starts here. Join CWC's automotive program and turn your passion for cars into one of the most in-demand technical careers. From classic cars to ones that park themselves, CWC's expert automotive instructors combine state-of-the-art technology, small class sizes, and one-on-one -on -one attention to help you earn your certification in automotive service excellence. Apply now for several scholarships available only to our automotive students. Make your way to Central and join the new generation of automotive technicians. Welcome back to the halftime from Casper Natrona High School. Riverton finds themselves deep in a hole at 35-20 right now to the LHS Plainsman. They got outscored 16-14 in the first quarter. I wonder if they could turn that up a little. <laughs> they got outscored 19-6 in the second quarter as the Plainsman Whistled for three fouls in the first half. Laramie, uh, three fouls. Riverton whistled for seven, and that put Laramie to the line six of eight times for 75%. But right now it's a couple of different things for the Wolverines. Number one is they're not shooting very well. Eight of 32. They have eight more shots than do the Plainsmen, but they uh, also have uh, not hit on the short ones that they're supposed to get. On the other side... Laramie has gotten some pretty easy buckets that they have ran past the Wolverines on as well. Taking a look at some of those first half statistics right now as the uh, first half shooting for the Plainsman, 12 of 28, 43%, 5 of 15 from the arc at 33%. For the Wolverines, 8 of 32, like I said. They are 2 of 7 from the arc. 
They have hit their two free throws in the contest as of right now. And looking at the rebounding stats right now, it is 16-13 in favor of the... Oh, total rebound. Yeah, 21-20. Sorry, Wyatt. Yeah, you have it correct on the screen. If I just look, 21-20 in the rebounding right now. Levi Brown has nine total rebounds for the Plainsman right now. And he's a guard. He's not even the six foot seven Neil Summers, who on his behalf has eight rebounds in this ball game. So uh, between those two guys, they have 17 of the team's 21 rebounds for the Plainsman as they are out in front right now. 35 to 20 is the final, uh, excuse me, final first half stats. Largest lead is 15 for Laramie. They did tie at 16, but then it's been pretty much all Plainsman since that point right now. Plainsman hitting from the arc as well. They've shot very well from the arc right now. Five out of 15. And you really think, okay, five out of 15 is not great at 33%, but the fact that uh, they have taken care of business against the uh, Wolverines at the intermission right now. Midway through the half, 35-20. Laramie out in front. We'll take a look at some individual stats after this break. This is Wolverine basketball from State for a first round on... 1051 Jack FM on the YouTube stream on County 10 as well. At some point, everyone is a pedestrian. When you're driving, you're to pedestrians. Wear like clothing. Walk on a pathway instead of the road. Look out for pedestrians. Avoid distractions like your phone. Look out for pedestrians, they're everywhere. We are the Wyoming Indian Lady Chiefs. We need you in our stands. Central Wyoming College has a new Bachelor of Applied Science degree in early childhood education. Being a teacher has always been a dream of mine. This degree combines the academic, assessment, and classroom management content that students need to be successful in the classroom, gain knowledge in how young children grow and develop physically and cognitively, and guide them to social and emotional development. What I really like about the education program here at CWC is that we get a lot of classroom experience. Make your way at CWC. Your home for the Riverton Wolverines is 105.1 Jack FM and County 10's YouTube channel. Go Big Red. Looking to add some first half scoring statistics in this one. Derek DeVries has 10. Parker Paxton has 7. Kate Gabrielson has 3. That's 20 for the Wolverines right now. For the Plainsmen, they've got 9 from Levi Brown, 8 for Neil Summers. Now, those are rebounds. Sorry. Carson Bush has 11. Levi Brown has 6. Braden McKinney has 3. Max Alexander has 3. Brandon Chavez and Jaden Smith, 2 apiece. Summers has 8. And that's where we stand right now at the intermission. Vincent has 4 rebounds. Paxton has 3 rebounds for Riverton. And I need to look at foul trouble because that was something that they didn't uh, have on the board for us that I need to take a look at. Nobody with more than one foul. Derek has one. Ty has one. Yep, yep, got that, got that. Dre has one, and I got that one as well. And then Parker, Nathan, Hunter, and Eli all have one as well. There's one that I'm missing on Nathan Hutchison for the seventh team foul on the Wolverines in that first half. A little bit of everything right now. Wolverines not getting, kind of look hurried on offense a little bit. And they've had some pretty good looks. Like I said, that shot chart looks pretty good in the paint. Just not dropping for them right now. They've missed some bunnies. And then on the other side, yeah, the Plainsmen have hit some threes. But they've also hit some easier shots on the inside as well. It's 8 o'clock at KTUG Jack FM 105.1 in Riverton. Wyatt and I will be back with the second half after this break. This is Wolverine Basketball. We are Maven. We focus on the fundamentals. 
clean, simple designs with the very best modern materials and technologies. We refuse to compromise our mountain town roots to follow the well-worn path to a dollar. We choose instead to make game-changing gear and use it in the places and pursuits that inspire us every day. We are Maven, a company focused on the design and creation of innovative products for and by the modern outdoorsman. Tires, tires, and more tires. Bailey Tire and Auto Service offers a huge selection, great prices, and fantastic service. Oh, yeah. Hi, this is Haley. With over 13,000 tires to choose, Bailey has tires for your ATV, farm implement, car, truck, trailer, semi, lawnmower, wheelbarrow, you name it. If it has a tire, Bailey Tire and Auto Service can fix it or replace it. Bailey Tire and Auto Service is your one-stop. Sugar is a locally owned and operated restaurant located in downtown Riverton. Their passion is coffee and locally sourced foods. Be sure Second half basketball will be the Plainsman to start it off. They have a 15-point advantage as the Wolverines will need to chip away at that to get back into this basketball game to avoid a first round exit for a third consecutive year. This is not Sheridan though, as the last two years has been against Sheridan. Here they are taking on the Plainsman. Gabrielson, Vincent, Hutchison, DeVries, and Paxton, the five that take the floor. Summers, Alexander, Chavez, Brown, and Bush dressed in maroon and yellow for the Laramie Plainsman. Plainsman right to left as we begin the second half. It starts with a defensive stop for the Wolverines. Brown, deed up by Vincent underneath, and Summers just imposes his will down there. And Nathan really didn't take the charge, nor did he. Parker's going to take it all the way to the rack, and he'll score it. Nice job by Parker. Left side, Alexander back up top. Working it around perimeter for the Plainsman. Alexander rejected by DeVries, taken away by Paxton. Parker gets it back. Pump fake, got the big fella in the air, goes to the baseline, scored and won! Much more aggressive Wolverines in the second half as Parker Paxton will get to the line, and the foul is going to be on Levi Brown, his second. Started with a block by DeVries on the other end and sparks the offense on this end. One of the state's best free throw shooters at the line. Paxton gets it. Cuts it to 10. Like Summers walked with it. Triple good over the top of Gabrielson was Alexander. Not sure if that score is correct, is it? Parker left side. Well, I thought Parker has five. That's what I had. I have 27 to 40. Wolverines missed on their end, and it's thrown away right into the hands of Hutchison. Hutchison going to run past his man, put it up, and score it. Forty to twenty-seven. Oh, I know why, because it was twenty at halftime, and I have twenty-two. Summers over Gabrielson, offensive foul. Kate takes the charge. Picking up where they left off in the semifinal game. Summers going to get the call. That'll be his second. And that'll be a turnover on the Plainsman. Coach Evans can't believe it. As Braden McKinney will check in. Hauk will come in. 
for Hutchison. I put Parker's first score of the second half in the first half is why. So 40 to 27. Got Wyatt keeping me honest. DeVries shut off on the baseline, throws it away. Just ran out of real estate. And he threw it right into the hands of the Plainsman. Wolverines upping the tempo defensively here as well as offensively. Brown stolen away by Vincent. Backside official makes the call. Jason will get his first personal foul. And it will be team foul number one. Alexander wide open lefty misses the three. Vincent will gather in the rebound. Boy, DeVries left him out there wide open, and he missed it. Then Jason dribbles it off his leg, flips it back to Paxton. Parker looking for a pick, finally gives it up to Vincent. Jason's going to tack down low. Saved by Hauk, not saved by Hauk. Turnover on the Wolverines. Riverton had four first-half turnovers to just two for the Plainsman. Summers way outside. Back out to Carson Bush. Now Brown batted away by Vincent. Take it away by the Wolverines. DeVries looking, goes, takes it to the rack and scores it. Wolverines on a 9-5 run here to begin the second half. They've got it down to 11 as they chip back into a 15-point deficit. Winner will play at 9 p.m. tomorrow against the winner of Cody and Thunder Basin, who will play here in the nightcap. Alexander to Summers. Summers into the paint, scoots it back out to McKinney. Back to Summers. Pump fake. Back out McKinney. His triple is good. Braden McKinney has hit 18 threes on the year. He's a 25% shooter, and he's got two tonight. DeVries down the paint, hangs, misses, and the rebound by Summers as the Plainsmen get a stop. Boy, as well as Riverton has played this quarter, and you think momentum is going midway through the third quarter, they've only made up one point. Ball knocked into the air again. And double dribble, travel, foul, something finally taken away by Vincent. Good defense by Gabrielson. DeVries at the top for three is good. Derek DeVries and a quick timeout by Coach Sheets to get a couple of subs in. Lucas, Monroe, and Sheets will check into the Wolverine lineup. <laughs> 343 left in the third. Wolverines 12 points here in the quarter. Thanks to Gamble's on Main Street and Lander. They've got truckloads of furniture waiting just for you. Delivery is always free within 30 miles of the store. That includes all of Riverton. Check them out online, LanderGambles.com. And a big thank you to the Lander Medical Clinic in Western for this broadcast. The staff of their clinics in Lander and Riverton want to remind you not to ignore those annual wellness visits. Make your appointment at Lander Medical Clinic or Western Family Care and let's stay healthy together. Derek DeVries has 15 points. Laramie has all five of their timeouts. Riverton down to three. As you see on your screen, if you're watching on the YouTube channel. Again, if you're listening on 105.1, appreciate you tuning in. Thanks to Waskin, my technical director here tonight. Sheets, Monroe, Paxton, Lucas, and DeVries. DeVries from behind, Tiki Tack gets called on the foul on Jaden Smith. And again, like I said last weekend, I'm not doubting that that's a foul. It's just not a foul when it's closer to the bat. He's got the ball in his hands. DeVries will come out of the contest. Second personal on Derek. Vincent will rise and check back in. Next whistle of play. McKinney up top to Smith. Jaden. Spins to the 15-foot line, almost throws it away. Summers and another offensive on. Oh, they're going to call a block this time. Summers is down, though. He is hurt. And they're going to call the foul on Hutchison. Boy, I thought that one 
was more of a block than the one Cade actually took earlier. He's got to get up. You hope the big kid's okay as he took a spill, and when you're 6'7", everything's a little more exaggerated for the big guys. He's holding his lower back, and you wish nobody ill will whatsoever as he's going to have to go shoot some free throws now. Nate will pick up his second personal foul. Referee asking if he wants out. He says no. 3.17 left. It's been a quick-moving third quarter on the Fremont Therapy scoreboard. 43-32, an 11-point Plainsman lead. Summers, 43% at the line. Free throw is no good. Vincent and DeVries will check back into the Wolverine lineup. Lucas and Hutchison come out. I think Coach Sheets would just like to run the Plainsman to death right now as much as he's putting kids in and out of this basketball game right now, trying to get that tempo up and tire out the Plainsmen who do not go very deep on that bench. Summers gets the second. He has 11. He's shot free throws pretty darn well today as Summers. Three out of five, not bad for a 43% shooter. DeVries to Monroe. Dre spins, bounces it back out to Paxton. Parker puts it on the floor, runs to the baseline, finds DeVries. Three minutes left to play. DeVries knifing through traffic, gets his own rebound, fired up. That one will drop. 17 for Derek DeVries. The lead is back to 10. You want to get it to single digits, I think, when you get to the fourth quarter here. Knocked away by Vincent, but stays into the hands of Brown. Brown's going to drive, travels with a basketball. Yeah, take it the other way. Goodness. He just wondered if it was going to actually be called or not. Got to help him out when you can, Wyatt. Two and a half left in the third. It's a ten-point ball game. DeVries again. There being a man-to-man. DeVries up in the air, gives it to Monroe. Dre in the corner. Back to Sheets. Ty penetrates. Scoots it right side to DeVries. Summers just kind of patrolling the paint down there. Derek stops, pops 10, missed it. Rebound, Braden McKinney. Two minutes left to play in the third quarter. Wolverines outscoring the Plainsman 14-9 here in the third. Bush cross courts it. Gabrielson next dead ball entering. Bush 15 foot line back out top to Braden McKinney. Now back to Bush. Corner for Smith. DeVries on him. Smith rises. Partially blocked by DeVries and a foul is called. Wowza. Wolverine fans don't like it at all and Smith's going to go to the line. Coach Sheets asking the referees, what do you see? Referee just shakes his head and walks away. Smith at the line. Jaden Smith, free throw number one is good. He is 59% on the season is Smith. 8 of 11, the Plainsman from the line. Parker's going to get a bit of a breather with 93 seconds left in the third quarter. Monroe out as well. Alexander back in for Bush. Back out to an 11-point Plainsman lead. Vincent really going to need to box out on the near side on the 6'7", Neil Summers. No need as Smith gets both. Back to a 12-point pad with 90 seconds left. Parker very quickly on the breather. Back out. DeVries thought about step back three. Does not shoot it. Vincent with Smith on him defensively. Goes outside. Hutchison's th triple is good. Nathan... His first three of the night. And it's now down to single digits with 70 seconds remaining in the third quarter. Wolverines have chipped back in with a six-point advantage here in the third quarter. Summers contested by Gabrielson. They'll let it go. Another one pushed back up. Another rebound and a foul is going to be called on the Wolverines. It's on Sheets. Boy, every break that can go against the Wolverines right now going against the Wolverines. 
DeVries will come out. 17 points for Derek. That will be the fifth team foul on the Wolverines as Ty picks up his second. He will come out. Lob it up to Summers. Hands it back to Brown. Under a minute left to play in the third. Right side, Smith. Monroe on him defensively. Corner, let it fly. Alexander, three, no good. He'll save it. Nope. He'll turn it over on the missed triple. And the Wolverines will have back the basketball. 40 seconds remaining. Third quarter, they've outscored Laramie 17 to 11 in the third stanza. Hutch pump fakes a three, working on Summers. Drives in, and that'll just be a stuff as Summers blocks it. It goes out of bounds and will be Riverton basketball. They're going to get him out of there with 25 seconds, 26.7 essentially. Summers will come out so he doesn't pick up that third personal foul. Inbounds to Paxton. Parker floating. It's going to bounce in. Paxton has 14, and it's a seven-point contest. Final 15 seconds of the quarter. Wolverine defense going to get stiff here. Smith, right side Alexander. That three is off the mark. Paxton will get the rebound. Parker across the timeline. Launching a long three. Front of the iron. Jason throws it up. No good, but we've played three. Wolverines are back in it. A 19-11 third quarter. And the Wolverines trail by seven. As we head to the final eight minutes of the basketball game, 4A boys first round state championship tournament from Casper Natrona on 105.1 Jack FM. Brown Sugar Coffee Roastery is proud to be a supporter of athletics and student athletes all across Fremont County. Brown Sugar is a locally owned and operated restaurant located in downtown Riverton. Their passion is coffee and locally sourced foods. Be sure to stop in for dinner service and look for a new menu coming soon. Brown Sugar Coffee Roastery. See them online at brownsugarcoffeeroastery.com or stop in at 203 East Main Street, Riverton. At Central Wyoming College, your future starts here. Join CWC's automotive program and turn your passion for cars into one of the most in-demand technical careers. From classic cars to ones that park themselves, CWC's expert automotive instructors combine state-of-the-art the art technology, small class sizes, and one-on-one -on -one attention to help you earn your certification in automotive service excellence. Apply now for several scholarships available only to our automotive students. Make your way essential and join the new generation of automotive technicians. Riverton goes 8 of 14 in the third quarter, 57%, including 2 of 3 from the arc. Laramie goes 3 of 9 for the quarter, 2 of 5 from the arc. And the Wolverines outscored them 19 to 11 in the third stanza. Cade's going to drive in, give it out to the corner. Hutchison rises for 15, missed it. Good box out by Jaden Smith. And the Plainsman back the other way, Summers. By the logo. Puts it on the ground. Hands it out to Carson Bush. Now to Brown. Lob down low. Summers can't hang on to it. Turn it over. Turnover number seven in the second half after only two in the first half by the Plainsman. That is their seventh turnover of the second half. 7.25 left. Semi-final bid on the line for these two teams. Plainsman haven't been to state since 2016. Paxton gives it up to Gabrielson. Cade, deed up by Alexander. Back to DeVries. Kind of puts his man on skates. Rise for 10, gets it. DeVries has the hot head. He's got 19. And the game is down to a five-point contest. Vincent being up Brown. Cross-court dangerous pass. Alexander gathers it. Down low to Summers. Summers has it knocked out of his hands by Paxton, but swatted out of bounds by Vincent. It's going to stay. Wolverine, uh, excuse me, stay on this end of the floor. Lob it into Summers. Summers working in. Got his own rebound. Gabrielson got sprayed to the ground. 
Summers will put it off glass and in. Big fella having his way with the Wolverines. Puts it back to a seven point game. Gabrielson working on Alexander to Vincent. Going to pull out the big guy. He's going to launch a three. That one's no good. Jason the rebound. Gabrielson back out to Paxton. Parker through the lane. Scoop with the left hand. No good. And Summers gets the rebound. Numbers for the Plainsman. Three on two. Take it left hand. Good by Levi Brown. Great transition bucket by the Plainsman and they push the lead back to nine. Parker to make it six. Yes! Paxton on the left side wing. Drains a triple. It's a six point ball game. A lot of time left in this one. 5.48 left. Plainsmen have only been called for two fouls in this entire second half. Well, we've seen some four corners today, haven't we, over in the other gym where Wheatland led uh, or trailed Lyman 7-5. to Going to go four corners and pull it out. Wolverine's going to have to go with them because they trail by six and a hands-on by DeVries will be his fourth personal foul by mine. Let's see. It is his fourth. Gabrielson winded. He'll come out. DeVries will come out as well as Monroe in. Derek with four fouls now. That's over and back. That is over and back. Oh, man. There is no front court possession. He caught it in the back court. Boy, referee missed that one. And then Summers gets fouled by Vincent. By Hutchison, excuse me. Well, that was a missed call by the official. Boy, Coach, uh, he missed that one. Coach saying just catch it in the front court and walk across the back court. That was exactly what happened right there. Can't dwell on it. Got to go play defense now as Summers goes back to the line. Free throw on the way is no good. Monroe gets the rebound. So Wolverines get a stop. Down by six, 5-10 left. Paxton, one-on-one, -on -one, and there's a foul by Bush. That'll be his second. Just the third team foul on the Plainsman. And a timeout call by Laramie. 5.06 left to play in the contest. Laramie by six, Wolverines with a basketball. Porter Supply Company in Riverton want to remind you that the cold weather is here for a little while yet at least. They have everything you need to heat your home with a wood, gas, or pellet stove this winter. That is Porter's on North Federal in Riverton online at portersmvs.com. And Tyler Watson, State Farm agent, a proud supporter of Wolverine Athletics. State Farm wants to protect your future. Stop in today, 618 East Washington, or go online at insuringriverton.com. And thanks to Wind River Internet for providing our web stream tonight on County 10. Also, big thanks to Maven for the optical assistance during the football season. Plainsman will shoot on every foul from here on out with 5.06 left. Laramie has only three personal fouls whistled on them. Laramie down to four timeouts. Riverton has three yet to go. Monroe, Hutchison, Paxton, Vincent, and Sheets. The five on the court for the Wolverines. Paxton takes the inbound. Penetrates, runs down in traffic, missed it, got his own rebound, put it back up in the trees, and got it to go. Parker willing that one to go down. He's got 19. It's a two-possession game. Four points separating the Plainsman and the Wolverines. Lob down low, Summers wide open. Hutchison missed him. Great dish from the top by Brown. Back to a six-point game, and another foul on Carson Bush will be his third, team fourth. Gabrielson checking back into the contest for Riverton. As Hutch will come out. That's going to put Monroe or Vincent on the big guy. Monroe has it back to Paxton. Parker going to run past. He's going to take it to the rack. He's going to miss it. Dre Monroe, the lead rebound, put it back up and in. 
Good offensive rebound, right place, right time, Dre Monroe. Four point game, 419 left. I don't think you can stall this one out at this point right now. Smith lobs it. Good tie up by Sheets, it got lost. Lob down low, underneath, putting it up. Summers goes down, rebound put back up and in by Alexander. Boy, I think Riverton got the beneficiary of some pretty good no calls down there that time, but Alexander gets the offensive board and puts it back in. Vincent working on Smith, bodies in, he loses it, but he'll gather it back in. 15 foot line, Monroe. Now to Vincent, now to Sheets, 3.30 left. Ty goes baseline, launches a 10-footer and gets it. Ty Sheets, back to a four-point game. DeVries with four fouls coming in next dead ball. Houck will come in next dead ball. Vincent got a piece of that. Summers working in, going to score it? No, it's going to fall out. I think the Wolverines have gotten away with a few fouls on him as of late, so it's all evening out a little bit here. And a timeout called by Coach Sheets. And I think it's maybe just the Wolverines playing the officials. They're letting them play physical. The Wolverines have played physical. It's a four-point game. 3.05 left to play. Let's take a 30-second timeout. Wyatt will be back after this. 3.05 uh, left, 54-50. Wolverines the basketball when we come back on 105.1 Jack FM. Wind River Internet is proud to deliver quality, high-speed internet to businesses and residents across Fremont County. Wind River Internet is the sponsor for the County 10 live stream and sports in our community. Enjoy high-definition broadcasts brought to you by Wind River Internet. They also provide reliable phone services that can help you stay in touch with the important people in your life. Experience greater connection today. To get a quote and start enjoying fast, reliable services, call 307-857-2004. That's 857-2004. A lot of time left in this one. 3.05 remaining on the Fremont Therapy scoreboard. Riverton trailing Laramie 54 to 50. Riverton has never led in this ball game. They have been tied at 16 apiece. That has been all plainsmen since then. Gabrielson, DeVries, Paxton, Hauk, and Sheets, the five on the floor for RHS. Ty's going to run, get it. And apparently you can catch it in the front and go to the back. Okay, I'll let that one go now. DeVries has it knocked out of his hands by a quick poke by Levi Brown. Gabrielson takes the inbound. Wolverines in their home whites today. DeVries, someone lost a shoe. He's got to play anyway. DeVries, six-footer, missed it, and he's going to foul out of the game on top of it as he goes over the back of Summers. Boy, player lost his shoe, Bush. And DeVries has just checked out of the basketball game. 19 points, three rebounds tonight for Derek DeVries. And it's going to bring free throws up for Summers, who has shot free throws well this ball game. Vincent will check in. He's 50%. He's normally 43. But 50% is higher than 43, so he's shot a little better than his average. And here he is at the line with 2.48 left to play in the contest. Wolverines trailed by 15 at the break. And battled back Summers, free throw, good. He has answered the bell, 16 points, 12 rebounds. Would be his 14th double-double of the season. Hauk out, Hutchison in. Second opportunity, good as well. Back to a six-point game. 2.45 left and rolling here in the fourth quarter. Parker out to Sheets. Triple on the way. Ty missed it. Summers will gather in the Laramie rebound. Possessions getting to be a little more prized now as the Wolverines need to stop here. Summers with a timeout called by Coach Evans with 2.29 left to play. 32nd. Timeout. Again, looking at that bracket. Winner will play at 9 p.m. tomorrow against the winner of Cody and Thunder Basin. The loser will have to come back and play in a 1.30 consolation game. 
at the Ford Wyoming Center against the loser of that Cody Thunder Basin game. Laramie has led the entire way, minus a tie at 16 apiece. 229 remaining in a two-possession game. Plainsman basketball, Summers will inbound. Wolverine band and cheerleaders, congratulations to the RHS cheer team. They got second in the stunt division in 3A yesterday. State runners up. Melanie and the cheerleaders, congratulations to them. Brown hands the ball back to Smith. They're just going to take a little air out of the basketball, and Sheets will foul him. And it's going to send Jaden Smith back to the line. He's four for four on the day. Ty will get his third personal foul. And Jaden Smith with four points all from the free throw line. We'll go back to the free throw line. He's perfect on the day. Shooting one of the bonus. Free throw, good. Stays perfect. Three possession game now with 2.17 left. Laramie. Free throw is good again. Eight point Laramie lead, 2.15 left. And a near steal out of bounds, Wolverine basketball. Levi Brown knocking that one away from Sheets. Derek DeVries has fouled out 19 points and three boards tonight for Derek. I'm not sure he's fouled out this season, to be honest. A lot of Wolverines have not fouled out. Parker long three, missed it. Summers gets the rebound. Outlet pass, here come the Plainsmen on the run. And a foul is going to be called on Paxton as he loped into the paint. Parker's going to make him earn it from the line. Parker will get his second personal foul. Boy, if you're Laramie, you'd really like to have seen him peel that out and run more clock. Instead, it's clock stop. And Levi Brown to the line. He's 0 for X. He's uh, 2 for 3 on the day. Now 3 for 4. Plainsman 14 of 18 from the line. Wolverines have only been to the line three times tonight. Plainsmen have only been whistled for eight fouls tonight. The Wolverines 17, and that's not going to help when you get an offensive rebound by Smith, who puts it back up, misses it. Paxton in the paint. Left it short. Summers another rebound, and he is fouled almost immediately. 15 rebounds and 17 points for Neil Summers with 144 left and back to a nine-point Plainsman advantage. Riverton only had six turnovers in the game against Laramie last time. They only have six turnovers here today as Summers misses the first. And he will have another. Not out of it yet, but Woods are pretty thick from here. Second one good by Summers. 18 points, 15 rebounds. Kate brings it across the timeline. Wolverines need a little sense of urgency here. With 95 seconds left, Cade's going to run past his man, put it up and score it. Might have been in one, nothing called on the physicality as Cade scores. It's an eight-point game. Play some defense, now get the foul. That was almost thrown away. Reverse lay-in is good by Alexander. Back to a 10-point lead as the Wolverines give it up. Parker for three at the top. Long rebound, no good. And Summers finally fouled. Cade will pick up his first personal foul on Summers, who will go back to the line. Minute nine left, and the Plainsmen look like they are on their way to the semifinals after not being at state 
since 2016. Wolverines just never really on all cylinders here tonight as Summers makes both. 15 points, 20 rebounds for the sophomore. Kate out to Sheets, triple on the way. That one's no good. Summers yet another rebound and another foul on the Wolverines. Running out of spots on my stat sheet for Mr. Summers. He will go shoot. I did not get who the foul was on, and at this point it is a moot point. As the Plainsman with a 12-point lead and less than a minute to play in the contest. And unfortunately, third year in a row, the Wolverines will not get past the first round at State. And the East dominance continues. They won all four last year. They've won three out of three here today so far with Thunder Basin Cody next. Summers gets the second. Final minute left. Ty runs down, flips it back to Gabrielson. He'll rise for 15, partially blocked. Ball loose to the backcourt. Parker throws it off of a player and does not get it off of that player out of bounds. It'll be Laramie basketball. 44 seconds left. Parker saying he threw it off of the player. Laramie got out to a 15-point lead at halftime thanks to a 19-6 second quarter. Wolverines battled back to within four in the second half but would get no closer. And another Wolverine foul, this one on Parker. Third personal on Parker. Yeah, 19 to 7. I have, yeah, 19 to 7, the fouls here tonight. And a lot of them coming here at the end of the game for sure. But in the hook of the balance of the game. Fairly lopsided there as well. Second one on the way, no good. Summers goes over the back, gets the rebound, and why not? Gabrielson goes down. Not sure. I did not see what happened. Wyatt, did you? That's an over the back. Kid gets up a little woozy, pointing to the bench that he needs to go to. Paige Nolan, the Riverton Athletic trainer, coming. Took a shot to his right eye. It's already blackened up, it looks like. And on top of it, it's Laramie basketball. I said something at the onset about, boy, that's an intentional foul. <laughs> it's not going to be called intentional as Hutchison pulls his jersey and will come out of the basketball game. Dre Monroe will check in. Summers going back to the line one more time. Free throw is no good. Second one is good. 22 points, 17 rebounds for Neil Summers. 15 point Laramie lead, their largest has been 17. Hauk with a high archer off glass. Final 24 seconds ticking off and again the East continuing the domination of the West as Wolverines will not foul. And Smith will run it off. And the Plainsmen will advance to the semifinals. Final score tonight from Natrona County High School. 67-54, your buzzer. The final score, the Laramie Plainsmen 67, the Riverton Wolverines 54. We'll be back 
Last time out with our Bailey Enterprises post-game show. This has been Wolverine Basketball from 105.1 Jack FM. Wind River Internet is proud to deliver quality, high-speed internet to businesses and residents across Fremont County. Wind River Internet is the sponsor for the County 10 live stream and sports in our community. Enjoy high-definition broadcasts brought to you by Wind River Internet. They also provide reliable phone services that can help you stay in touch with the important people in your life. Experience greater connection today. To get a quote and start enjoying fast, reliable services, call 307-857-2004. That's 857-2004 or windriverinternet.com. Back when I was riding in rodeos, I always made sure I was locked in good and tight. Now as a touring musician, crisscrossing the country, I still make sure I'm locked in good and tight. Of course I do. Buckle up for life, Wyoming. If you're looking to get upgrades on your vehicle done with bumpers, grill guards, and bed liners, shop locally. Instead of traveling the extra mile to an out-of-town shop, take it to the premier local shop here in Fremont County. Wyoming 4x4 has over 25 years of experience under the belt. Dan will take your stock truck and give it the perfect accessory makeover tailored to your vision. Stop at Wyoming 4x4 or give Dan a call at 307-857-3175. Wyoming Catholic College are proud sponsors of student-athletes and sports programs across Fremont County, plus are this season's Academic Spotlight sponsor. Wyoming Catholic College forms students through a rigorous immersion in the primary sources of the classic liberal arts tradition, the grandeur of the mountain wilderness, and the spiritual heritage of the Catholic Church. Grounded in real experience and thoughtful reflection, our graduates love truth, think clearly, and communicate eloquently. Engaging with the world as it is. Submit your application online at wyomingcatholic.edu slash admissions slash apply. Final score tonight in the first round of the boys for a basketball championship. It was the Laramie Plainsman 67 and the Riverton Wolverines 54. This is your Bailey Enterprises post-game show where the Plainsmen have won it. And, you know, I talked about it being physical, and if you want to talk about officiating and all that kind of stuff, you know, there's certainly banter, I guess, you could throw out about it. But, honestly, Riverton did not play well in the first quarter of basketball where they shot 5 of 16 from the field and missed several in close while Laramie was uh, hitting some threes and doing stuff. So Riverton missing in close, and then the defense just wasn't there. And then the second quarter, the Plainsmen outscored the Wolverines 19-6, but it wasn't over at that point. The Wolverines fought back. It takes a lot of energy to battle back into a contest and even more energy to take the lead after you battle back, and they got within four. And then the Plainsmen doing what got them here to state as they took care of business. And would outscore the Wolverines 21-15 to in the fourth quarter. And the Plainsmen played very well. And there's a reason why they have won four out of their last five basketball games or into the state semifinals. As you take a look at the final stats in this one, 67-54 is your final. Riverton uh, ended with just seven turnovers. They took care of the basketball, but they could not uh, just get the defensive side of the equation to get the stops in. They just couldn't get the shots to go down on the other side as well. Take a look at some other stats in this one. Uh, Riverton gets uh, out-rebounded 39-35. to Riverton gets out-rebounded 39-35 to in the contest. And leading the way, Neil Summers with 17 of those rebounds for his team, 9 for Levi Brown as well in the contest. But again, Riverton got out rebounded 39 to 35. Shooting wise for the game, Plainsman 20 of 47, 43%. They were 7 of 20 from the arc, 35%. And 
they hit their free throws. 20 to 29, 20 of 29 free throws. And that's one thing. And you look at the other side. Riverton only shot three free throws in the entire ball game. And you're thinking 20 to 29 versus three of three. A lot of those came in the fourth quarter, as a matter of fact, if you want to look at it, as they hit 11 of those 16 free throws of those uh, 20 for 29 in the fourth quarter when the Wolverines were fouling. So it was just a uh, situation where the Wolverines didn't get the chance, I guess didn't give themselves the best chance as they got dug in a hole early. And they ended up falling tonight 67 to 54 is your final score. Scoring numbers individually tonight, Derek DeVries 19 and Parker Paxton 19. They both account for 38 of the Wolverines' points tonight. Five points for Nathan Hutchinson, five points for Cade Gabrielson. Ty Sheets had two, Hunter Houck had two, Dre Monroe had two in the ball game for Riverton. That's what their scoring looks like. On the other side, Neil Summers, 22 points to go along with 17 rebounds tonight. And he did a bundle at the free throw line. Where is his official numbers? 10 of 16 from the free throw line for a 43% free throw shooter. He comes up uh, pretty clutch for his team when he needed to right there. Max Alexander had 10. Carson Bush had 12. Nine for Levi Brown. Six for Jaden Smith. Six for Braden McKinney. Two points for Brandon Chavez. And the Plainsmen win it 67 to 54. I am highly doubting that we are going to end up with a post-game interview with our head coach, Bo Sheets, who uh, has retreated to the locker room with his team. I noticed Kate Gabrielson has a big shiner already on that right eye after he went down a little while ago, so we'll hope that he's okay. And we will have a pregame interview with Bo Sheets tomorrow. We'll be on the air at 1.10, game time at 1.30 from the Ford Wyoming Center. And will it be a third time around with a Cody Bronx, or will it be against the Thunder Basin Bolts? Cody and Thunder Basin playing next here from Casper Natrona High School. Let's take one more final break real quick, Wyatt, see if we get the coach, and we'll come back with our Bailey Enterprises postgame show. That continues here in a moment. Perfect Power is a proud supporter of athletics and student-athletes all across Fremont County. Perfect Power provides services for residential, commercial, and industrial jobs. Darren Hubble, owner and master electrician, has over 30 years of electrical experience. Darren's trustworthy team of professionals can get the job done right. Perfect Power, serving Fremont County and surrounding areas. Stop into 1320 West Main Street, Lander, or give them a call at 307-332-7184. Porter's Supply Company in Riverton is proud to sponsor sports and student-athletes here in Fremont County. Start your game day off right with the Porter's pregame show and get ready for action. Porter's has everything you need to heat your home this winter with the best selection of wood, gas, or pellet stoves. Good luck to all Fremont County teams from Porter's Supply Company. See Porter's Supply on North Federal in Riverton and online at portersmvs.com. Remax All-Star Realtors are proud to sponsor sports across Fremont County for the 22-23 season. Remax All-Star Realtors was founded in 1991 with real estate in a way that would make our clients' lives as easy and uninterrupted as possible. They've completed many, many transactions involving residential, commercial, vacant lots, farm and ranch, and investment properties, and can help you with any goal you might have regarding any of these today. Remax All-Star Realtors, 938 West Main Street, Riverton. See them online at RemaxRiverton.com. Time now for the Bailey's Enterprises Post Game Show from the County 10 Sports Network. Now let's get back to the gym with John Gabrielson. Wyatt, thank you so much for the work you've done here today as you look at the bracket on screen here on the YouTube feed. Three teams from the East have punched their ticket for the semifinals. East and Campbell County will play at 7.30. The late game will be Laramie taking on the winner of this one between the fourth-seeded Cody Bronx and the one-seeded Thunder Basin Bolts. Consolation games tomorrow. Jackson and Star Valley will crank up at noon. And then Riverton will play the loser of Cody Thunder Basin at 1.30 tomorrow afternoon from the Ford Wyoming Center. And we appreciate you tuning in. Thanks to Bailey Enterprises. And, yeah, we're not going to see our coach uh, venture up after this one as he is attending to his team. And I think the locker room is about a four-mile drive from here 
uh, as they use different places for locker rooms here at Natrona. They've only got a couple, so you have to fit four teams in coming and going and everything else. And so uh, locker rooms, I don't think, are real close to Dalton Gymnasium here at Casper Natrona High School. We will be back on the air tomorrow. I'm going to have you pause one quick second. Quite honestly, I'm surprised my voice has held out as much as it has given what I've been battling with it all week long. But we will be back at it pregame around 110, game time at 130 from the Ford Wyoming Center tomorrow. Consolation basketball. Wolverines have won that prize the last two years in a row. Looking to come back and make it three. I know that's not the game they want to be in, but that's uh, where the cards were dealt as they come up on the short end of things. You see that on the bracket there in front of you that Wyatt created at 1.30 tomorrow here. This has been your Bailey Enterprises post-game show. Wyatt is also our uh, board operator back in radio control, but sitting right next to me here at Natrona County High School. Wyatt, thank you so much for the work that you've done and all over the social medias. You can check out county10.com for more, County 10 Sports on Twitter and everything else. Your final score here tonight from Casper Natrona High School it is the Laramie Plainsman victorious over the Riverton Wolverines. 67 to 54. Wolverines play at 1.30 tomorrow against the loser of Thunder Basin Cody who play here next from Casper Natrona High School. For Wyatt Barichka, I'm John Gabrielson. This has been a presentation of County 10 Sports at 105.1 Jack FM. Living well isn't just about things. It's about the things that matter. Your family, your friends, and your health. For decades, Sage West Healthcare has been committed to improving the health and care of our communities. Today, we're investing more in our communities, in our people, in advanced medical technologies, and in specialized facilities. So access to better care is close to you and the things that matter most. Sage West Healthcare. Be well. Live well. That's why we're here.